guys, Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay with yet again another cosplay tutorial and this one is over how I made my Android 18 skirt from the anime Dragon Ball. And here are some of the reference images that I used to help create the skirt. And to help you even more with making your own Android 18 skirt, I have a blueprint available on my website www.tiffanygordoncosplay.com or see the link below. And for making the skirt, we're going to be using a denim blue jean fabric that I got from Joann's. I first laid my fabric out flat, making sure it was doubled up so that way I could mirror my patterns and started to lay each pattern onto the blue jean material and pinning them in place. And cut out each of the pieces using a rotary tool and scissors. Next, you're going to get piece A, which is the front skirt and pin on part D's, which are the front pockets. So that way they are having the dark blue jean material face inward towards each other. And for sewing, we're gonna be using a jean or denim sewing machine needle, as well as specific jean denim thread for the sewing machine. I do recommend getting extra thread because this thread is thicker than normal and you'll go through it a lot faster. And following the edge of the foot to the edge of the fabric, I used a straight stitch, removing each pin as I sewed along the edges. Next, you're gonna flip the pocket flap so it's now on the back of the skirt and pin it so the seam is now flat. And once again, sew this section with a straight stitch and this time having the needle on the far right side next to the edge. Now that those two pieces are sewn together, we're gonna continue with the front pocket, letter C, and we're gonna pin it so now each of the pockets, the dark side denim, are going to be facing each other. And then I sewed these two pieces together using an overcasting stitch. And for extra structure for the pockets at the top half, I sewed with a straight stitch about an inch down so that way your pocket and your front skirt don't separate Next, we're gonna get both of the back skirt panels, which are letters B, and pin them to either side of the front panel. This includes pinning it to the pocket flap as well. And then we'll first sew each section using a straight stitch with our needle on the left, and then we will go back with our overcasting stitch to finish off the seam. And here's what the skirt looks like so far with our functioning front pockets. For the waistband, I first started by folding each of the long seams and pinned them in place. And sewed each of these seams down flat with a straight stitch and the needle on the left. Next, I folded the waistband in half, hot dog style, and pinned it with needles next to the folded part. And once again, went back to the sewing machine with a straight stitch and this time the needle on the right. This seam is going to make it so your waistband will always have this nice crisp line and you won't have a wave in the band. Once that was done, I then folded the waistband in half and marked where the halfway point was with a needle and then pinned the waistband to the skirt starting in the center working my way out to the edges and then sewed the waistband to the skirt using a straight stitch and the needle on the left, remembering to remove every pin along the way as you sew so you don't bend a sewing pin or break your sewing needle. Now to work on the back pockets, which are letters F. To start off, I cut using scissors a square out of each corner of these pockets. This is gonna make it a lot easier for you to fold the material and not have as much fabric bulk that your needle will have a hard time going through. And after that was done, I then folded each of the seams and pinned them in place. And then sewed each of the seams down using a straight stitch with the needle on the left. Now that we have all of the edges of the back pocket square sewn, we're going to pin them to the back sections of the skirt, one on each side, leaving the top part open. 
and then sewed the pocket to the skirt using a straight stitch with the needle on the right. And if you'd like this to just be a decorative pocket, you can sew all the way around, but for me, I wanted it to be a functioning pocket, so I left the top section unstitched. And here's what the skirt looks like from the front side as well as the back side. Now to deal with the hem of the skirt. I did this by using the overcasting stitch, sewing the entire bottom trim of the skirt. Then I folded this over so that way the seam was on the inside of the skirt and pinned it flat. And I forgot to film this part, but I then sewed it on the sewing machine with a straight stitch and the needle on the left. Now to create each of the belt loops. I started off by pinning just one side of the edge over, sewed it with a straight stitch and the needle on the right. And for these pieces, since they were so tiny, I ended up chain stitching each of the belt loops. This is where you do not cut each of the thread after you finish. Instead, you just lift your foot and insert the next belt loop underneath and continue stitching so all of the pieces at the end will all be connected in one and you can trim it with scissors after to separate. I repeated this process also for the second side of the belt loops. And then cut each piece so they were separated and then folded the top half of the belt loop and chain stitched those together using the same stitch. The belt loop should now be sewn on three of the four sides, both the long sides and one of the short sides. I next decided the placement where each of my belt loops were gonna go and then pinned the belt loop with the unsewn seam down to the waistband at the top. I did this process for all eight of the belt loops. Next, I sewed each of these pieces down using a straight stitch and our needle on the right. And after folded each of the belt loops down and pinned them to the bottom half of the waistband. And once again, sewed them in place with a straight stitch and this time the needle on the left. For the edges of both of the back skirt panels, I ended up going and using an overcasting stitch. And here's what the skirt looks like so far. Next, I folded the skirt in half and pinned both of the back skirt pieces together, going about halfway up from the bottom to where my zipper was going to end. And then I sewed these panels together using a straight stitch and our needle on the left. And for more reinforcement, I went back with an overcasting stitch to where I had just stitched as well. Next, where the seams were not stitched, I folded the seams and pinned them in place so that way the seams would be on the inside of the skirt. And sewed them using a straight stitch and the needle on the right. Now, to attach the zipper. I did this by pinning the zipper to one side of the skirt, starting from the waistband, working my way down to where our seams came together, and sewed the zipper in place with a straight stitch and the needle on the right. I will note I changed out the sewing machine's foot pedal to a zipper one. and repeated the same process for the other side of the zipper. All that's left now is to put on your skirt, add your belt, and you are done with your Android 18 skirt from Dragon Ball! Thanks guys so much for watching this cosplay tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. This was my first time working with denim so hopefully this will help you with working with denim if you're also a newbie to this material. 
And if you found this video helpful, press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you for our next cosplay tutorial, which will be the jacket for Android 18. So stay tuned. Much love, guys. Mwah.